hi welcome back to my channel um i just already posted a video so if you haven't seen that video you can go check the one below this um like comment subscribe you know till the bell notifications on whatever <laughs> So right now I just mix the two as you can see there are two different shades so when I mix the two together it looks really good so that's what we're gonna do we want to mix the two together so I'm gonna put it right here let's go to that one two so we'll go with that one and oh you can't even see one and a half of that one so that's what it looks like and what I usually do is, because I don't have like a mixing thing or whatever, I just take an end of my brush and I'll swirl it around. I don't know if you can tell the difference in this color, but I can. So, we're just going to take our beauty blender. I don't usually, I used to use uh, damp beauty blenders or like wet ones almost, but like I like the dry um I like the dry beauty blenders now because it gets everything. Like, it, it's full coverage. And I like full coverage. Like, no matter what, I like full coverage. So, yeah. So, I just want to dab it in there. And then we're just going to apply it. So, if a color is too light or too dark for my liking, um... I will just really do more of the opposite color, if that makes sense. Like the opposite shade. Um, so if this is too like dark for me, I'll go in my um, con uh, my concealer a lot. I like to, oh, also on my foundation, I like to, like, keep dab, like, pouncing it in. So, I make sure I don't have, like, a lot of um, marks of, like, anything, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, any unevenness, basically. Um, obviously, I'm going to have, like, little dark spots because, you know, my smile lines and everything like that. And I always have, like, this light, this, like, light spot on my face and it also has some like here but like it's also like a shadow type thing Barnes and Noble was having a 50% off sale on some books and I wanted to buy every book in the store but I didn't I would if I could but I can't so I wanted to buy every book like I literally wanted every book but I can't do that so I was just looking around really uh, my mom was looking around. My dad was looking around. Um, I really was just enjoying myself. I was in La La Land. Like, I was in heaven. Like, that was a beautiful moment for me. I love going there. Um, so, yeah, I went there. Um, I got a I got two books. Um... One, because I'm a fan of this beautiful, delicate, gracious human being named Harry Styles. So I got one book about him. And then the other one, um, it's called... Um, Instant Karma by Marissa Mayer. I've read a couple chapters so far, and it's pretty good. It's right up my alley. It's right up my alley, so it's it's pretty good. Um, it, it's kind of reminding me a little bit of the Unhoneymooners. I wonder, I forgot who that's by. But yeah, the Unhoneymooners. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. I really like it. Um, I haven't gotten to like 
the spicy parts yet and not and by spicy i don't mean i mean like the like the nitty-gritty like the drama i ain't got to the drama yet all i know is that there's some conflict between this girl and this boy and i got a feeling that they're gonna be very much um in love and i'm not mad about it because she seemed very tight and he seemed very nonchalant. But they obviously got something going on. And I'm already in the first couple of chapters. Honestly, I can tell you what chapter I'm on right now. I'm on chapter, chapter, I'm only on chapter three. And I can already tell that there's something going on because these people, they really got, they really is just like, their characters are so like, I don't know. You can just tell. But yeah, so that's what I'm currently reading. I usually read a whole series, but since this isn't a series, like I really can't binge it. You know what I mean? Um, Because sometimes when I read a book, I can't put it down. I can't put it down. But I can kind of put... I can put this book down, you know what I mean? Even though I am only on chapter three. So I'm not gonna do the top of the brow, I'm just gonna do the bottom of the brow. Um that, that mug came back to get me. So yeah. Also, I don't know when this will be uploaded. So if you're seeing this, right now it is currently January 31st, 30th, 30th? hold on, January 3rd, oh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, it's February 1st. My bad. My bad. But technically, January 31st. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to do a... I'll try to make this in as sharp as I can because I don't want to go over my brow today. If that was the case, I would have, um, I wouldn't have put my foundation on first. But anyway, um, so yeah. Oh, so what I'm, right now, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, um, in shade medium, 35 in medium, um, so yeah, it's a little light, but I kind of like it a little light. It makes me more alive. Um, and I don't put on much. This may seem like a lot, but I promise it's not. Um, and this brush is the... I don't know. It's a concealer brush. But I don't know who it's by. Like, I don't know who the maker is. So yeah. We're just going to go with that. Um, so, yeah, that's that was my weekend. That's what I did. So, I'm just taking the Beauty Blender, and I'm taking the same side I did my foundation with, and I'm just going to buff it out. But, yeah, um, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. So, yeah. So I like to like um have it to where it's really it's all blended out. Like it's all blended out. So just gonna keep on going and going and going. I'm gonna drag it up, drag it down. And then I'm also gonna get under my brows. I'm not gonna do a bold eye today. I'm just 
I'm just really showing you how I do my base. Sometimes, I'm not going to say this is an everyday thing. Like, this is an all-the-time thing of how I do my base. Because it's not. Like, I rarely, like, I really do my base the same. Like, today I just did it different. I did it different and a little bit easier. So, where y'all could see and understand how I do my base. Um... But I should probably do my makeup like this more often. I wouldn't spend 35 minutes on one eye, on like, on one eyebrow. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm not really left-handed. But I'm starting to be really good at using my left hand. Um, yeah. But so, yeah, um, right now, I already put some on my beauty blender. But I can close this up and show y'all what I what I'm working with. <laughs> Y'all seeing all four, five of my chins, baby. No. Anyway, so I'm using this. It's a little dirty because, like, I use it all the time. But I don't know if y'all can read that. Can I read that? It's called Extraordinary. It's translucent powder. Um, it's in the. It was in the shade. I guess it's the only translucent powder they got. It's a loose powder pigment. And it's by Kate London. But I also have some brushes by Kate. I didn't realize that. Wait a minute. Yeah. Anyway. um, I mixed this with the Revlon banana powder. um, Because it, this was too light. And it was making me, like, extra ghostly. I think I told y'all this before. So, I mixed it. I mixed it with this. So, I'm going to put it under my eyes. And I like to pack it on. I like to pack it on. Because I'm setting it. I'm setting it. I'm going to set it. I'm So, um, I'm going to also set my eyes because I'm not doing any, um, this is also for the nose contour. Like, I'm doing my nose contour right now. I'm not doing any big looks today for my eyes. I'm just going to, um, set it today. Um, so what you do is when you set your eyes, you know how we believe you have creases. So I don't know if you can tell, but you know, here, I got a crease here. So I'm just going to like, make sure all the crease is gone. And I'm going to take what's extra on this beauty blender and I'm going to just pat it. And then I'm going to do the same for here. I'm just going to set it. Cause whatever crease uh creases you have and then you set it those creases are going to stay because it's setting powder you know what i mean so i'm just going to take the rest i'm just going to pounce it on my face everywhere and i'm going to let this sit for a little bit and because i put it everywhere my face basically has powder on it um so what i like to use next is my fenty beauty um bronzer i sometimes use um a darker um um brown concealer type for like the more contour um the cream contour but i do like to just go with go in with bronzer i really like to go in with bronzer because I don't know. I just really like it. And this bronzer, I really like it. Uh, Coco Naughty. I recommend it. I'm not sponsored. Rihanna, if you want to. Holla at you, girl. But anyway, I'm not sponsored. I just really like, I just really like using this product. Thumbnail.
anyway so yeah i'm gonna take this off and then just gonna go up the eyes on the nose so at the beginning of the video my base was a little bit darker um so norm naturally because the setting powder is so light um and because i'm um i've kind of mixed i mixed it and like it was light before and my concealer my concealer is also light um it's gonna brighten up my face it's gonna brighten up my face really well but next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my contour um i'm just gonna do my bronzer and i'm gonna take this brush right here um it's a crown brush and i think this is a crown contour brush because it has like this little thing you could put this part you could put your hand on and you just hold it or however you feel the need to so i usually just do it like this and i just start up here then i go down but i don't directly put it on right here because i already have this dark spot so i literally just bring it down like this here and sometimes I go right here so I can create myself like a little jaw almost because I'm like extra thickity so I really don't have a jaw so as you can see I like brung it down you know what I mean and I brung that that bronzed look you know I gave myself more color um and I know you're probably asking or you're probably not asking um why do I put um, my concealer all the way out and then I bronze it? I don't know. It's just something that I learned to do. Um, I've always done it. And I always think it, it looked cute. Um, this face, this side might be a little bit more bronze than this side. Because I, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like I do a lot of things uneven lately. Like all the time. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm just gonna contour my forehead because that's important. You always contour your forehead. Well, I always contour my forehead. A lot of people tell me that I don't have a forehead or like my forehead is small, and I'm like, well, to me, I got a forehead, I got a five head. Well, it like because it's like it looks like a pizza box, it's like a hat, you know what I mean. But like here, I like to contour here because I got a chin. Why not? And I like to contour, uh, uh, contour under my lip so I can make your lips look, you know, a lot more plumped at the bottom. But that's just me. I don't. I don't think anybody else sees a difference, but me. You know what I mean? So that's my base. Uh, well, that's my contour. So next, we're going to do the blush. The blush. Oh, and this product. This is by, um, uh, I think this may be by, I don't know, Pretty Vulgar. Yeah, this is by Pretty Vulgar. And it was right here. But you can't see it no more. Like it all, it wiped off. I, I think you can see like the you see you see the print, but it's like gone. Um, and this is shade make them blush, baby, because look at that, make me blush. So we're gonna take the brush, brush, blush, brush. I'm just gonna go in like that, hit that mug like that, close that mug like that, hit it again, and we gonna smile. We gonna smile. You see that gap? Girl, we gonna smile. Look at that. Already. Already. And then go do the nose. Cause I kinda like that little sticky look. See my face? I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. And then a little bit on my chin. And a little bit up here. Because I don't want to look, I don't look like I'm just red for no reason. 
know what I mean? So after blush, I like to do highlight. Sometimes I forget the highlight step. I don't know how you forget the highlight step, but sometimes I forget the highlight step. You know what I mean? Um, so also before that, I'm gonna take my setting spray. Um, I got some fly ways in my eyebrow, girl. I'm gonna take my setting spray, my NYX matte finish, um, yeah, long lasting setting spray. They don't have a shade to this, it's just setting spray. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna. do that i like that smell <coughs> i like that smell and then i'm just gonna fan it with my james charles palette i don't know how many i wish i had a dollar for every time i bring this man's palette up in my tutorials so yeah i did that i let my setting spray i let it set and now i'm gonna do my highlight um, I might do it out of the, a palette. I might use a palette. A palette. I don't know what palette though. Ain't gonna cut. I like to use shimmers from the palettes to do my my makeup sometimes because it be busting. It be busting for real. It be, it be cute. Um, let's see. They are wigs for a reason now. TikTok got a hold of me. That was a horrible ankle. Girl, I'm using this one. Up there. But yeah. TikTok got kind of got a hold of me. They say, come and go. I like that song. I like that one. Even though... It be making me feel lonely. It make me feel lonely sometimes because I ain't got no boo thing. Speaking of boo things, I'm starting to think I got ADD or ADHD or something because I dropped from one topic to the other. Y'all just gonna have to keep up with me. But, y'all, this man at the corner store. Okay, first of all, I was already embarrassed when I walked in because... Your girl fell, almost fell out the car. Like, she fell out the truck. Okay? I had to catch myself. And the man, every time he see me, he, like, he smile. He, he speak, whatever. At first, I didn't think nothing of it. Because I'm like, mm, it's okay. It's whatever. He's being friendly. It's his job. Y'all, this man asked me, oh, do you have a boyfriend? I said no. I don't. I feel so bad because he is a cute little something. But I was like, mm, I can't do it. That's what happens when you go out your house and um, some a hoodie, some sweats, and some Crocs. That's what happens. But anyway, let's put a little something on these eyes, cause baby, day is looking. It is looking really disappointing right now. And I'm gonna show you how I do my lips. I'm gonna show you how I do my lips. Cause why not? Um, I get the excess product off because I don't like my lips to feel or look cakey. So recently, I did, um, this kind of look with my um with my lips recently and I kind of want to share it kind of want to share it I'm also going to do some eyeliner so I'm going to use this this brown pencil and I'm just going to outline here and then here 
So first I'm gonna put some chapstick on because baby, this is not it. I'm gonna just put a little bit of chapstick on because my lips, I don't like them looking this dry. Mm. There we go. That should work. Okay, so what you're gonna do here go up and we're just gonna stop like right here we're not gonna go all the way down here like we usually do we're just gonna stop right here okay and then we're gonna fill it in heavy Heavy on the top lip. See? Stay with me. Stay with me, cause... Cause you're gonna be like, girl, what? Yeah, mustache? But in the end, you gonna let you I try so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I don't know if y'all know that song. Oh, this is a black liner. I'm just giving it that extra. Mm, you know what I mean? And I'm blending it in with my finger. Okay. So we're going to take some lip gloss. Like I said, bear with me. I'm going to start the bottom lip. And then we're going to start to do the top lip. But we're not going to go all the way down, though. We're going to just... And then we're gonna get our excess, our, 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 what is this? Makeup wipe. I'm gonna take it off. Cause I don't like the bottom lip being very dark. I got some on my chin. So that's that. I'm gonna fix this. You can always fix anything with a little bit of, with a little bit of, you know what I mean? Put okay, some highlight there. Okay. So next, next what I like to do is take my handy dandy eyelashes. I'm probably, I'm really finna just take all this off after I take some pictures. Yeah, that's the tutorial. Um... I didn't talk about Euphoria this time because if I did, it was going to make me mad. So, yeah. No, I'm just playing. So, yeah, this is the look. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate everything. All the support. Um, all the feedback. I appreciate the shares, the likes, the comments. I appreciate everything. So, I really thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to post... A regular this brows this I'm gonna take this off. It's me. It's cute though. It's cute though. I wish I had somewhere to go tonight, but I don't. Some slight. Um. So yeah, that's the base. It looks really good. Um. I think I should do just like. So yeah, that's the look. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I'm said five hundred million thousand times that I really appreciate it. And thanks for like coming, subscribing, um, share it to your friends, your family, your grandma, your dog, your cousin, your cousin's dog, your goldfish, your grandma's goldfish. Um, I know I share it to my grandma goldfish. 
So if you're a real one, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all next time because I don't have a schedule. Uh.